all right thank you very very much for staying with us once again uh, joining us on this channel sport 7 gh for yet another fantastic video it's always always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying and of course merry merry christmas to each and every one of you watching us around the world yes um, fantastic and merry christmas to everyone uh many happy returns also yes <laughs> um thank you very much for staying with us and for joining us once again in this video we are going to look at the black stars of ghana this month the until january february it's all about what? the black stars of ghana because the african cup of nations 2023 will be kickstarting on the 13th of january 2023 the black stars of ghana will start their campaign on the 31st of december which is this sunday and uh, the last weekend this sunday uh coming sunday is the um, start of the black stars campaign by january 10th 2024 the black stars of ghana has to submit their final 27 man squad to CAF, who are going to the final 27 players who are going to represent ghana at the african cup of nations so we are going to start predicting okay it's just a prediction and based on the 55 man squad that came we are going to predict the defenders who are likely to be caught up for the final 27 man squad um, in this particular video and i'm sure you are going to agree with that so only the defenders the center backs as well as the um, laterals the right backs and then the left backs we are going to predict them which players are you expecting to see which player are you not expecting to see in the squad when you talk about the black stars defenders likely to make the final 27 man squad for the african cup of nations let me know your thoughts comments views opinions in the comment section of this video like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying with us now Let's start from the Black Stars campaign. Now, it has been confirmed by the Ghana Football Association that the Black Stars of Ghana will camp at um, Ivad in South Africa. Johannesburg, that's where we will be camping um, starting from the 31st of December 2023. And then on the 8th of January 2024 in Johannesburg FNB Stadium, the Black Stars of Ghana will play versus Botswana national team in a friendly match ahead of the african cup of nations so the ghana will play just one friendly game ahead of the african cup of nations and that will be in south africa with Botswana. so um contrary to the previous news that came that blast will be camping in dubai they are actually going to south africa to camp and that is the news coming in a lot of people do not agree that why should we ghana go to south africa to camp when we are playing the african cup of nations in um ivory coast ivory coast are just our neighbors why are we not camping in ghana here and then go uh, move to from ghana to ivory coast for the tournament but you see namibia national team are actually camping in ghana yes yeah, so they will camp in ghana and then after that they will move to Cote d'Ivoire to play the tournament and um, senegal will camp in senegal their they are, they are national their home country and then morocco will also camp in, in fact morocco crowd they don't have to go anywhere for them they have everything in their country so morocco will camp will camp in their country but most of the other countries will move cameroon will go to saudi arabia um other national teams will also go to saudi arabia and most of them to camp outside their country but a lot of ghanaians were like look we should be camping at least in ghana or in our neighboring um neighboring countries with um, ivory coast so that we will be moving to ivory coast with ease but then um the ghana blasters will be camping in south africa in fact south africa will also camp in south africa south africa will not go anywhere they will camp in south africa and then move to um so that is it <laughs> what's your thoughts do you think that ghana should have a camp in ghana or what are your thoughts for me um i don't really think it will make any difference but a camping in ghana would have been good ghana um ghanaians will socialize with their team wherever they will be camping you see that the people there would have socialized very well with the team would have got connected to the team and give them what their support and everything ahead of the tournament but then if you are going to south africa at least south africa is better than dubai which came earlier on yeah south africa at least african country is better than dubai which came earlier on so let's see how things go with that particular one now <laughs> 
in fact i have a lot of journalists who have condemned or criticized that particular decision of ghana blasters campaign in south africa and one of them is gary al smith he, he says that he's very disappointed that a pre-afcon campaign um, begins on 31st of december in johannesburg south africa the tournament itself takes place in neighboring Cote d'Ivoire. so i would love um i'd dearly love to know why our leaders feel it is prudent to go to go all the way down south you see yes because people think that the south africa weather will be different from the ivory coast, ivory coast weather so why would you think that we should go there but all those things are just issues people are talking about let me know your thoughts comment views also in the comment section of this video let's look at the defenders who are likely to be called up now defenders pair, not goalkeepers just the defenders the center backs as well as the left backs and the right backs now we have nicolas opoku as the first player like he's part of the defenders who will be called so nicolas opoku would be called for the final 27 man squad of the black stars when you talk about the defenders joseph atama will go to the african cup of nations yes joseph atama a very um, new player new ghana player he plays for kesai sport in turkey and he will be joining the black stars for the african cup of nations um ali duseidu center back stroke right back will also be going to the african cup of nations ali duseidu clement ford player um daniel amate besiktas player turkey will also be going to the african cup of nations yes um daniel amati center back alexander jiku will also be going salisu mohammed should be going and will be going to the african cup of nations it's been a very very long time since the world cup he hasn't played for ghana black stars and i would have i would love to see him play for black stars and see how he improves the ghana defense very well so salisu mohammed will also be going baba raman as a left back will be going to the african cup of nations yes baba raman yeah in fact he's one of our best left backs whether we like it or not he's one of our best left backs and right now he's doing very well in the greece league and um he's doing very well with pawok fc so obviously he deserves to be part of the african cup of nations final 27 man squad danis or doy right back will also be part of the final 27 man squad um, danis or doy club bridge um fantastic player kinsley schindler kinsley schindler also very much likely to be part of the squad and then gideon mensa so about 10 um defenders 10 defenders you know we are calling 27 players instead of 23 so it means that the defenders ordinarily will be more than um the 23 players and that's why we are projecting that these 10 players again let's go you see before i go over the players crown the defense is one of the key aspects of the black stars game and one of the things we should go to the african cup of nations and see that we are better in it because we are conceding a lot we concede a lot and it is very bad i don't know but you just cannot be conceding like that and if we keep conceding uh, the likes of egypt mozambique and the rest are obviously going to punish us in the african cup of nations and that's why we have to keep an eye on our defense the blasters coach the technical team should keep an eye on the defense they should work on the defense um equally or with more emphasis okay than they will look at the other departments because it says that you win tournaments with what defense you win games with the strikers or goals but then you win tournaments with a defense so we have to go uh, all out and then make our defense very solid very resolute and rigid we have to get all the quality players in the final 27 man squad and also deploy defensive tactics game plan um to ensure that we do not concede more goals very very important that we do not concede more goals throughout the tournament so let me go over the 10 players and defenders likely to be called up um, nicolas opoku one and then joseph atama two um ali duseidu three daniel amati four alexander jiku five salisu mohammed six baba raman seven Dan dennis odoy eight kinsley shenlan and then Gideon Mensa. So that is it. Kingsley Chandler, Danis Odoy, and Ali Duseidu will be the center backs and the right backs um, options. The left back options will be Baba Raman and um, Gideon Mensa. The left back options and the rest of the players will be the center back options. Yes. So that's it. Thank you very much. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section. Like this video. Hit the notification bell and select. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.